Hi everyone, this is Susan of Susan's Pet Services and I'm just doing an aquarium update. There we go. Well, there's a bit of a glare. Um, but as you can see, I just fed them. So this is my big tank. This is the 35 gallon. Um, I have about 11 tetras in here and the female beta. There are, I have seen the ghost shrimp in here as well. I'm not seeing any right now, but I just fed them. Um, they're really good about eating and not attacking each other over food. Um, I did transplant some of these surface plants up here for my other tank, um, but I have had quite a bit of plants, I guess somewhat dying, leaves falling off, but nothing major. Some of those roots aren't looking great. Um, but I do have some plant matter down there. But overall, the snails and shrimp and everything are keeping the algae down. I really don't have a lot of algae in this tank. All I've done is 10% water changes since the last video. I really haven't done too much. Um, and the fish are looking really, really good. So I do have some shrimp incoming. I'm not going to put them in this tank, though. I'm actually going to put them in this tank. So this is my 10-gallon. And as you can see, the plants have really, really taken off. Um, I don't know if you can even see him, but I did get a new male beta and I put him back. He's back there by the heater. Let's see if I can get a better angle on him. No, oh, he's just, he's hiding. He's been having a lot of fun. Oh, there's a red shrimp. So let's see if we can get a, well, I have three shrimp alive for sure in this tank out of the original dozen. So that kind of sucks. I, I did order some more shrimp and um, they're gonna go in this tank just because I know for sure that shrimp are doing well after everything's stabilized. Um, so I do have a male beta. He's, he seems to be doing, he's like, we're three days in, he seems to be doing well. He's exploring a lot. Um, like I said, the plant's really taken off, especially this stuff up top. I don't know what it's called, but I moved some of it over to the big tank. Oh, there he is. So, I, did, I drip acclimated him to the water, and then, um, and then put him in. <laughs> so he's just explored every nook and cranny of this. The only other major difference is I got driftwood for this tank, and for this tank, in preparation for some more bottom feeding fish. Um, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I don't want to make too many changes too quickly because that was the mistake I made early on. Um, the water has been really stable. It's been like between 6.5 and 7, which I know is a large, large range, but considering where this tank has been, these tanks have been, it's really, really good. So there's one of my little shrimp in this. There's two big ones and one small one. Lots of snails and my beta. Like I said, he's doing really well. He's, I think he's really liking all the plants. He's been exploring a ton. Um, and then I'll just keep moving plants over from the small tank to the big tank as they mature. Cause I really do want this one to really fill out with all the plants as well. Um, I mean, it is really taking off as you can see there, some of them are really going and I do need to try to actually plant them. But for right now, considering everything this tank has been through and the fish have been through they I think they're doing really, really well. So that's the update. I'll probably do another video when I actually get more shrimp. Um, it's a new shrimp vendor, so we'll see how that goes. And yeah, thanks for watching.